Juice WRLD's last album, The Party Never Ends, first got announced over three years ago, and we're still waiting for it. I'm just going to be giving my thoughts and opinions on it, and the state of where the album is at right now. This album was meant to drop a while after it first got announced in June 2021, but it got scrapped to Fighting Demons instead, which failed and it was mid as f I have a video on my channel on why it failed, so go check that one out after this video. But we've literally been hearing soon and soon for ages now from Bibby and Pete. They've been saying this since the album first got announced. Even last year, they've been saying soon all year. It seems like they don't know what's fully going on with Juice WRLD's last album, The Party Never Ends. I know they're taking a long time working on the album, not for really rather than an album that's actually been worked on for years, than an album that's been worked on for months max, which was Fighting Demons. That's if The Party Never Ends is actually good, which in most most likely won't be good. We first heard from Bibby and Pete that Juice's last album would drop at the top of the year of 2024, which was obviously another lie from Grade A. I mean, the whole rollout for this album is we first got the first single last year in December, which was Lace It With Eminem, which wasn't even a hype song. How are you going to drop a sad song for the single, for the party never ends, when it's a hyped album? They should have just dropped Lace It as an off single, just to give us music, with them not even putting it on the album. But it's been six months since we got the first single for The Party Never Ends, and we've heard no official news yet. All we have is Pete saying in a Juice WRLD broadcast channel on Instagram is, One of the biggest things the community has been asking for is going to happen this year, which he said that on the 18th. Of April. And then early this month, Pete said, Six or seven weeks, something cool is coming, which no one believes Pete, since most people reacted with clown emojis and laughing emojis. I mean, Grade A is through a joke now. I can see why Leroy left Grade A, and that the new artists they signed aren't even successful or even being pushed by Grade A. How did this guy ZZZ get signed for like 5 mil, but he's mid as f? and don't even drop. Keep in mind, Juice got signed for like 3 mil. But going back to Juice WRLD's last album, The Party Never Ends, I don't know when it's gonna drop. In my opinion, I feel like the first single they dropped, Lace It, isn't going to be on the album anymore. And if it is, this is already looking mid. Grade A is just ruining Juice's legacy now. How did they go from making a solid posthumous album, Legends Never Die, to making Fighting Demons and not even giving us updates on The Party Never Ends? I've lost all hype for The Party Never Ends and Juice WRLD is my favorite rapper. I'm actually looking forward to other albums that I know are gonna drop this year, like Life's a Trip 2 or Polo G's new album. My overall opinion on this album is that it's already ruined, unless they make it 17 to 20 songs with all hype songs, top tier features and more. If not, this will be Juice's least best albums. Definitely gonna be better than Fighting Demons though. Let me know what you think of Grade A and how they're handling this album. Check out my other Juice World videos on my channel. It's been NDC, thank you for watching, enjoy the rest of your day.